Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Mallard M28. This is a great couples coach, rear bath model. You have dual opposing slides, a center island, and a ton of wardrobe space. But let's actually start off on the ceiling. This is one of the things I really like about the Mallard. You'll see you have a barreled ceiling here, which makes it a lot more open. You don't feel closed in and claustrophobic. You'll also notice you have like a nice wood grain panel on here rather than the standard white. And then same thing, you have little nicer strips going across there as well. You'll see the dual track AC. You have the double ducts running all the way down the ceiling and LED lights throughout here, including the two lights that are right here above your center island. If we take a look at the island itself, uh, again, because you have dual opposing slides, it allows for this island right here, which gives you great prep space. You have the stainless steel sink there and the high-rise pull-out faucet. So this makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. Now, I like having the large single bowl sink. So if you do have some bigger pots and pans, you're actually able to set them down in there and wash them quite easily. Both sides have electrical outlets, so if you need to plug anything in, you have a place in which you can do it. You'll also notice a couple other features over here. You have your slide controls, your power awning there, which we'll see that when we go outside. But this is one of my favorite parts, and that is the central vacuum. Folks, this is not something you generally get in a travel trailer. Usually you have to move into like your really high-end fifth wheels, but I love the fact it's in here. Now we can just take a hose, plug it in nice and easy here, and then you'll have your little wand. You can sweep everything up. You don't have to bring a separate vacuum with you. If we take a look at the front here, I'll open this up. Look at that, great storage underneath, a perfect spot for a trash can there. So I like the fact they didn't put any shelves in. If we take a look at the campsite slide here, you'll see you have a little bit of storage there up top, maybe a spot for some decorations, some knickknacks, things like that, or you know it is usable storage space, just open. Underneath that is your Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can see that right there, plenty of space. You have a couple of drawers down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Moving over a little further, you have microwave, your hood here with the light and fan. Directly underneath that is your three burner cooktop, but I like the fact that it's recessed with the glass cover on here. That way you can utilize this as prep space. Nice and easy to use. You see this just flips up and back like so, and then that will reveal your three burner cooktop there, the front one being high output. Right underneath, and you also notice you have an oven in case you want to do some baking. And then underneath that, look at that. They maximize your storage there. You have great storage underneath. Probably a good spot to put some of your bigger pots and pans. You also have this storage right here. So again, if you want to put pots and pans in here, you can do that. Maybe if you want to put plates in there, it's a good spot for that as well. And then over next to that, you have three full extension ball bearing drawers. So plenty of space here for your silverware, some of your larger utensils like spatulas, serving spoons, items of that nature. Directly above, again, more good prep space here. You'll notice you have an LED light underneath here as well as an electrical outlet. So if you want to put a coffee maker over here, you can plug it in right up top there. Then up above that, you see you have some additional storage. Notice how it is strut assisted. Uh, you did hear it squeak a little and you'll hear that throughout, but folks, it's 15 degrees outside. It is cold here in Michigan today. Uh, so, you know, it does have a little bit of squeak there, but I love the fact it is strut supported. That way it's easy one hand operation. Moving in a little bit further here, take a look at this. This is one of actually my favorite, or I know there's a lot of things I really like, but another favorite thing is this right here. I had mentioned a lot of wardrobe space. Take a look at that. This is awesome, versatile storage here. You have a hanging rod in both sides. So if you want to use this as a coat closet, you can do that. You need just more hanging space, certainly. These shelves here are all removable, so you can lift those up and out. Otherwise, you can leave one side of shelves in, leave them both in. You can use it for a huge pantry, whatever you want to do there. But that gives you the option to kind of customize your camper to how you go camping. And then underneath that, two more, look at that, huge full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see how nice and far those pull out. So nice big drawers right there. As we take a look at the bathroom here, look at the bathroom door. You know, I like the fact they put a design on here. Most manufacturers just have a plain door. Not the case, they just added a little bit extra. I think that's kind of cool they did that. If we take a step into the bathroom, this is a rear bath model, and look how much room you have back here. You can easily get dressed, change, do everything you need to do. 
plenty of room in the in the toilet here you can see i have you know obviously a ton of leg room in front of me i'm fairly broad in the shoulders and i have plenty of room on either side of me here as well and then right over here if we take a step into the bathroom itself again more storage folks look at this you have a huge storage area hanging rod going all the way across if you want to hang clothes in here great you can do that you want to use this as a giant linen closet you have plenty of room for towels in there you can put your own little uh, storage racks or whatever else you want in there it just gives you a lot of options right over here is your neo angle shower you have the rain shower glass door on there I'll take a step inside just to kind of give you an idea of head height. Uh, I'm six foot. You can see even without the skylight, I can still fit underneath here nice and comfortably. With that skylight, that does give me a couple extra inches. So, you know, if you are a little bit taller, that's not going to be a problem. Hand wand there, so it's nice and easy to wash and rinse. Couple of shelves behind me as well. Then over here to the side, mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. Right underneath there is your sink top. You have good countertop space on here, electrical outlet, and a little bit of additional storage there underneath. Here on the off door side is the super slide. You'll see the dinette right here, and you can tell you have plenty of room for four people. It's nice and easy to slide in here and you know enjoy a meal together or play a game together. Also, this table does drop down into a bed, so if you need additional sleeping space, you can certainly do that. It is, you'll see kind of right back here, connected on the wall. So you'll just kind of pull that up off the wall. And then you have two foldable legs. Just fold them in. The table will sit right here along these rails. You'll then take the back cushions, put them on top, and that will create your bed. You'll also notice there's an electrical outlet right down here. So if you do need to plug anything in, that will be the place to do it. That way you can sit there, work on your laptop, you know, a tablet, something like that, right there at your uh, dinette. Moving over a little further, we get into the sofa. So if we take a look at the sofa, folks, one of the things I love here is the fact it's a trifold. If you're not familiar with a trifold sofa, it's a preferable type of sleeper sofa in an RV. One of the things you'll notice, you have armrests, making the couch actually comfortable to sit in. You'll see it has like a different color stitching in here, so it has a nicer look to it. But more importantly, folks, this makes a comfortable bed. This right here is what your guests will actually get to sleep on. So you know they're not gonna have an uncomfortable bar on your back like your standard pullout, and it's also not gonna deflate on you like an air mattress. So comfortable to sit on and comfortable to sleep on, plus it's super easy to make up. Then all along the top here, you'll notice you have uh, kind of a designer glass on there, which is pretty neat. When we open this up again, it is all strut supported for easy one hand operation. Lastly, on a rainy day, you have to have a spot to watch TV. This is it right here. And take a look at how big of a space you get. Far too often in a lot of RVs, when it comes to your center entertainment centers, they just give you this teeny tiny TV and you can't see it from the dinette. It's even hard to see it from the sofa a lot of times in a floor plan like this. Not the case in the Mallard 28. Literally neat thing about this, folks, is this does swivel. So if you want to swivel that around and watch it in the bedroom, you can easily do that as well. Connected to that is the multimedia center here. That is uh, not only a radio and CD player, it's also a DVD player. So you can pop a movie in there. That unit controls the speakers both in here as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. You have a little cubby hole right, up, right next to that. Little bit of storage there underneath and then up top here kind of like we had in the top of the slide same thing nice glass on there you'll see the struts again as i mentioned for one hand operation as we step into the bedroom you'll again notice where that spot the swivel tv is so this is the back of it you just undo the lock on the front this will swivel around again that way you can watch tv in the bedroom you'll also notice you have slider doors on here but there are actual doors, not just curtains. So if you do have additional guests, you know, that are sleeping on the dinette or on that trifold sofa, it gives you some added privacy. Queen bed right here in the center with great nightstands on the sides. You see you have plenty of shelf space there, as well as a cubby hole underneath and electrical outlets. So if you have to charge a cell phone at night or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can sleep on either side of the bed. Right up above that, you have, that's right, more wardrobe space so as i said folks a ton of space to hang clothes in this rv and you have additional storage right here across the top now that we've seen the insides take a quick look at some of the outside features of the mallard m28 
Right up front, you see you have two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Nice and easy to access those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and that will give you access there inside. Right behind that, you see rails here for your battery. Now notice it is covered in snow. Again, as I said, we're here in Michigan, it is pretty cold. But one of the great things about the Mallard, folks, is this one does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Right over to this side, you'll see solar prep. So if you're planning on doing some boondocking where you don't have shore power, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front, you have black diamond plating here in order to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And directly above that, you have the beautiful front cap here on the Mallard. Painted front cap, which not only helps the look and overall aesthetic of the camper, but also adds some extra insulation and it's nice and easy to clean. So we take a look at the side of the M28. One of the things you'll notice right away is how wide the pass through door is here. And that's something I like. So if you have some larger items, like a lot of your bigger chairs, grills, things like that, you can slide them in here. You'll also see it's a covered hinge. So that way when it gets wet, you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It's also magnetic. You see the magnet right up here? That way you can just put it up there and you don't have to worry about, you know, breaking any latches or anything when you shut it back down. If we take a look inside the pass-through, it is uh, lit. You have an LED light in there, but take a look at this, folks. This is your controls for your power stabilizer jacks. One of them controls the two front one, the other one, the two back ones. So that way when you're setting up and tear down camp, it's super simple right there. You don't have to worry about wearing your arm out. And you can see those power jacks are right here underneath. You can see those there. If we take a look up top here, you'll see the power awning, which goes over your slide out. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And there's an LED light on there as well. So that way, if you want light at night, you can just flip a switch. You don't have to worry about hanging up any party lights or anything like that, unless, of course, you really want to. The main entrance, obviously, is right here. You have three foldable steps to climb up in there. So that way, the first one is nice and low to the ground. So if you have bad knees, you're not going to hurt yourself when entering or exiting the RV. Couple outside speakers here, as I had mentioned, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. But again, that unit's Bluetooth capable. So if you want to stand out here with, you know, an MP3 player or, uh, you know, your smartphone, whatever it may be, you can connect to that wirelessly via Bluetooth. Electrical outlet here as well. So if you need to plug anything in, that's the place to do it. You know, it's a great spot to put up a little table here. You can put your crock pot on there or electric griddle, whatever else you want to cook right there. But I like having an easily, uh, easily accessible electrical outlet outside. If we take a quick look underneath here, you see the wide suspension, what they call the wide track suspension. Essentially, it's a spread axle, folks. And it, what this helps is it helps reduce sway when going down the road. So it's better towability. And you also have aluminum alloy rims on there. That's just some great looking wheels. The cool thing about aluminum is they will stay looking nice because it doesn't rust. So definitely great to have those as a standard. And then you have nitrogen filled tires on there, which in theory should help you hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. So we take a look right back here. It's what they call the outdoor party center. And I really enjoy this space. Uh, it's one of the great things about having a rear bath couples coach like this is you're able to get something here. You have the sink for easy uh, you know, water access outside. LED light, of course, in case you need to light it up at night. If you want a TV out here, great, you have a spot for a TV there. Otherwise, you know, if you're, again, if you want to use it as a party center, you can put some, you know, some liquor there, whatever else you want, because uh, you can lock this compartment up. This door right here, just like the pass-through folks, slam latch baggage door just drops right down like that. You see you have your locks there so you can lock the handles. And this one's also magnetic. You can put it up nice and easy, just like up front. You also have your fridge out here. This is perfect for any condiments, beverages. You can load them up right there, super easy access. And you have this pull-out prep space here. You can pull this guy out, you know, and uh, again, if you need to prep some food or make drinks, something like that, you can do so right there. When you come around to the back, you also have a grill mount, so this way you can flip this around, you can hook up a grill, you'll see right underneath, you have that propane quick connect. So that way you can hook your grill up right there and it will feed off your two 20 pound bottles up front instead of having to bring the small green ones. You'll also notice you have a spare tire here on your bumper. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's a great peace of mind knowing it's right here and it's really easy to access because it's just mounted right there on the bumper. 
we take a look up top in the center there, kind of covered on the snow, but that is your uh, backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, it's a lot easier to have installed here, meaning it will cost you a lot less money. Right here on the off door side are the majority of your hookups. You have your 30 amp detachable power cord right there, cable inlet right up above, outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Your city water inlet is right over here and underneath that is a black tank flush, which makes it nice and easy when you're done camping. Instead of sticking a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, stick it in right here. It has sprayers built in and it washes it out for you. If you take a look underneath here, you'll also see one of two terminations located right here. This has your uh, black valve as well as one of your gray tanks. The other one is right up front, right behind your axles. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Mallard M28. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.